Hey guys, it's your girl Lisi, and I'm back with you guys today with another makeup tutorial, of course. So today I'm going to show you guys how to do an easy Valentine's Day look and I really did mean like easy as one, two, three, because I'm gonna show you usually how like I teach beginners how to um, create an eye look with just three eyeshadows. So first of all, let me just get to just the education behind it. So when I say three eyeshadows, I mean a transition shadow, a crease shadow, and then a lid shadow. And then usually these shadows have to have a specific color. So I'm going to show you what I'm using today. Today, I am using my easy, dead. I'm using my Z palette. It's filled with mostly coastal scents, eyeshadows, and I just recently put in um, the rest of my ColourPop single eyeshadows just to make sure I use them. So yeah, they're not color coordinated, or they are, but then it was just like a lot of one color. So as you can tell, I really love the mobs, and I think it's going to be perfect for Valentine's Day. So first things first, the transition color. Your transition color needs to be a brown shade because that is the shade that you're gonna use to blend out like above your crease, above your crease. Not in the crease, like not here, but above. So I always say that your transition needs to be a brown shade, something kind of neutral, kind of close to your skin tone. So I'm gonna use, let me take this out. I'm going to use Oktoberfest by Coastal Scents. That is going to be my transition shade. And you guys, like, don't sleep on Coastal Scents. On Black Friday, um, usually all of their single, their, like, single um, pot eyeshadows are 98 cents, guys. That's, why, that's really why I have so much. So I was like, let me re-up. So right now I'm putting this above like in the crease not in the crease like above the crease and when you have it a little darker it kind of creates depth in your eyes so usually what I do is I go above my crease but then I bring it kind of down into that little socket near the bone so boom that's our transition shade. And today I'm doing like a matte, matte, sultry type of eye. Nothing too over the top. Like, I know usually when I say, like in my other videos, I'd be like, oh, beginner friendly. Yeah, I look back at it and I'll be like, damn, it's not, it's kind of hard. So this is really like one, two, three guys. And this is just for the eyes. So next is the crease. The crease color. I tend to use the crease and when I say the crease I mean like literally your crease right here or like your outer V crease so but today we're not really working on the outer V crease because we're not we're not um doing kind of like a smoky like with the black on the outer corner type of look we're not doing that so today I am going to take it's really mostly like my coastal scent shades I'm not even gonna lie I'm gonna take chocolate here by coastal scents and I'm gonna pop that in my crease. Like deep in the crease, like yo. I know I look weird, but that's how you get that eye action though. If you got contacts, I'm sorry, I don't know if it'll still work. You see how depth, like it just gave it so much depth. So usually your crease color has to be darker than your transition color good so now since we are doing a valentine's day look i want to go for like a mauve type of purple on my lid so usually your lid color can either be a shimmer um a pop of color or if you want if you're doing like a black smoky eye then of course the black would be on your lid so it just depends on what type of look you're going for so i think i'm gonna i might mix them don't get me wrong i might mix them so I'm gonna use this. Uh, this is called Cute Alert, and this is from ColourPop. And guys, I'm using the same brush. All I'm doing is just wipe it, wiping it off on like a towel or like a paper towel. So yeah, nothing too serious. I'm gonna get a good amount because this is gonna be on my lid color. This is what I want people to see. 
pop it right on top of that lid. And don't be afraid if you end up going over that trans that um the crease color. It's okay, we can go back and blend it in. Alright, so now I'm done. Personally, I would like it to be a little bit more purple, but hey, it's okay. I'm not stressing. This is something really simple. I already know one last step. Well, one extra step that I can give you guys to really bring out those eyes and make it look nice and sultry for Valentine's Day. So yeah. So now that I'm done with that, that's my one, two, three, my transition, my crease, and then of course my lid color. Now I'm just gonna go back in and blend in. Um, right now I'm just gonna use my transition shade and just blend, cause right now you can see harsh lines and obviously that's not what we want, guys. So yes. All right guys, so now my eyes are done. All I'm gonna do is Put on my liner i honestly don't think i'm gonna do a wing liner because then again this isn't more so like a babbit type of slay this is more like a sultry i'm trying to capture you with these eyes type of slay okay so i'm just gonna do a simple liner and i'm gonna pop on my lashes and so forth for the lashes i'm not i'm honestly not even gonna do dramatic lashes i like I said, I don't want to do anything too dramatic today. This is something every day that you guys would wear, like the everyday girl would wear for Valentine's Day. So just keeping it nice and simple for you guys. So I'll be right back. All right, guys. So my eyes are done. If you want to rock it like this, you can. But for the girls that, you know, they can't help themselves, you know, they just, they just want to slay all day. What you can do just to amplify the look is put a little highlighter in your inner tear duct. So the highlighter I'm gonna use today is called Rosy Glores by the Crayon Case. And of course it's gonna be a little pink reflective because I mean it's Valentine's Day, why not? We could be just a tiny bit cliche, nothing wrong with that, the heck. <laughs> As you can see, it really opens up the eyes, like it does something different. I don't, I honestly don't know what it is, but it just amplifies like a natural look into like, dang, I'm natural, but don't play with me, okay? You can add as much or as little as you would like. Packing it on, baby. Good, this is good. I'm not even gonna overdo it. Now, um, I already put on my lashes. Um, usually I smoke out my um waterline, like my lower um mascara line, but today I'm not doing that because we're we're, we're still trying to go for a natural look. We're not trying to go too crazy. So all I did was put mascara on my bottom my bottom um, eyelids. And if you really want to match, you can use the same highlighter or even the same shimmer eyeshadow. Sometimes I use shimmer eyeshadow as like my highlighter as well. You can use it as your highlighter. So then, yeah, you can either go with matte or glossy lips. I'm going to do glossy because I think it's going to look real cute. So yeah, I'll get back to you guys with the final look. All right, guys, this is the finished look. What y'all thinking? Y'all like it? Y'all gonna rock it Valentine's Day? And it's super easy. This, this honestly doesn't have to be a Valentine's Day look. This can be like an everyday, I'm just going out with my girls type of look. Honestly, if you use the same three steps, remember transition color, crease color, and then lid color, you honestly can blend and do any eye look that you want just remember that a transition has to be what the brown neutral color the crease should always be darker than the transition color so either a dark brown or even a black depends on the look that you're doing and then step three of course your lid color can be a pop of color a shimmer color whatever you like whatever you want to be your standout color that can be your lid color so yeah i really hope this helped you guys because i know valentine's day is coming and y'all gonna be practicing y'all gonna be looking up all types of things so honestly i hope to help so yeah if you guys want to continue seeing more videos just go ahead and subscribe to my channel don't forget to like comment and share this video guys i hope you guys have a great week and y'all continue to stay blessed love y'all